All right, y'all, we on our way now to get our HSG test done. Right, hey, baby. guys. Yeah, baby's nervous. I'm nervous, too. Yes, very nervous. Yeah, and I'm standing outside scared. waiting to flag a cab. Right. City life. But I am kind of nervous. I mean, it's yeah. only going to be mild cramping, no pain. And, um, you know, I'm pretty prepared, so... Yeah, we're gonna vlog when we get to the hospital. It's pretty noisy out here. Baby, you wanna say something to the camera? I'm nervous too, babe. What are you nervous about, babe? About you. Why? Being in pain or being uncomfortable, you know? Nobody wanna see somebody they love being uncomfortable. Or in pain, you know? So, I'll do fine. We'll do yeah, fine. Yeah, I know you do. I know you Our good. goal is to make sure that dye flows through the uterus, so. Good. And no. the fallopian. Yeah. Trying to flag right, a cab. I think we got one. So yeah. bye, guys. Yeah. Guys, see, babe, she's fully disrobed and now she's uh, running late walking. Yeah, a little HSG outfit. Mm -hmm. You look cute. So, yeah, I'm gonna have that. I'm feeling that footwear now. Get out of here, don't you? Oh. All right, you guys. So, mm -hmm. wish me luck. You good, wish baby. Luck. No pain, no pain. <gasps> I'll be back in a flash. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up, guys? Bet y'all want to know why I'm smiling. But, um, yeah, I couldn't go into the HSG test with baby. Um, like I said, this facility doesn't allow uh, the spouse to be in there. But I can, I'm right next door. They have me, like, in a little waiting room where I could sit. And I can hear them. And I heard the doctor say, it's spilling out like it's supposed to. So that's what we want. I already know. My baby, she's going to be pregnant next month. Her next, her next ovulation, she's going to be pregnant. She's built for this. This is what she's built for. This is what she was born to do. This is what she was born to do. And um, I know she's happy right now. I wish I could be in there. As she's hearing those words come out of his mouth, I know she's, baby may, may be shedding a tear or two. But, um, yeah, the nurse, Michelle, she's very good. She's very good, uh, very good nurse. So I know she's, you know, she's there for right now. She needs it to be. But, um, yeah, another step. She's going to be coming out soon. I'm nervous. I'm still nervous. Even though I heard that, I'm still nervous. But, uh yeah, y'all, I'm excited. Baby Lawrence on the way. Okay. Okay. So we have here, because the images are pretty much all the same. Okay. This is her uterine cavity, okay. which is normal. Okay. This is her right fallopian tube. This is her left fallopian tube. Mm -hmm. And you can see the contrast has dispersed and flowed through the fallopian tubes, okay. which makes uh, the fallopian tube is open right. great, and great. normal. Yes. Rock and roll. Absolutely. Thank you, Michelle. You're very welcome. Hey dolls, so we're back. It's been so, a long, long day. I did show you guys the clips of the entire day before this little snippet. So let's go ahead and give you pretty much a recap. Okay, so today we had um, we went to do the uh, HSG test. Basically, basically just making sure you know her fallopian tubes are clear, you know. And As you guys saw in the clip right, right before, right? Everything flowed out. The way it was supposed to, okay. Um, everyone was so happy for us. It was, it was just the best feeling in the world, right? Baby? Right. So we yes. went in at eight fifteen a.m. this morning. This is cycle day seven for me. Mm -hmm. So um, I had to make sure that I took the dicy doxycycline, mm -hmm. and that's an antibiotic. That you want to make sure you take an antibiotic before injecting any type of catheter to prevent from any type of infections mm -hmm. happening afterwards. Right. So, some of my fears and symptoms, just to let you guys know, I got there at exactly 8.17, I was two minutes late, I filled out some chart work, they made me pee in a cup, which was absurd, because I'm like, there's no way I'm pregnant before or now, so like, why am I pissing in a cup, but... I guess, like, if I was being unlawful to yeah. my wife, they just would want to know if I was just, like, yeah. what just a dude precaution. or something. That's just bizarre. No, no, but no, it no. is really, a precaution really, really for the to procedure. Cover, to cover themselves. If right. If goes wrong also. Or, you know. So, I had to pee in a cup, and I was really, really scared at this point because I'm not understanding what's going to happen. Well, I understand the procedure, but I was definitely scared of the speculum and the catheter. I was thinking, life is about to end right now. As you guys can tell, I was doing my little happy model dance Vogue, trying to psych myself out. Um, so, yeah, as far as the procedure. So, they put this really, really big um, x-ray camera down, like, in between your legs and onto your pelvic area. And the stirrups on the um, 
seating was much different from the regular doctor's office. It was actually like I was like going under, like getting an operation for real. The stirrups were up really, really high. They strapped my legs in. And the procedure happened with the doctor underneath like a curtain, similar to how they do it with um, a C-section. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so that was a little crazy. Yeah, I'm like, I wasn't, I wasn't oh my God, to be she wasn't allowed that. to come yeah. in, which was unfortunate. But yeah. she heard it right on the other side of the wall and the nurse was right near me holding my hand. Mm -hmm. So first he goes in with the speculum, which I know this is a lot of information for you guys, but I want to be as specific as possible so you know what to expect when you go do it yourself. So he went in with the speculum and after that, the catheter at some point went in. I didn't even know the catheter went in. I have no idea because I was so scared of the speculum. Then what I felt was like, almost like a needle, a really large syringe going towards the surface of your skin and then just pushing in deeper. So it didn't really feel exactly like a needle. They told me it would feel like a full on contraction if I was like eight centimeters. And it did. It felt like a whole bunch of pressure. Boom. And then it was over. It was literally, they had the dye inside for four minutes. Um, I should have picked out my synopsis so I can tell you exactly what it says. But if you're sure, go ahead, babe. We can go ahead and grab it. You can come in front of the camera if you want. Yeah, so she's going to go ahead and grab the information while I finish rambling. So I know I might sound hyper. It's actually in the black book right there, my calendar, my cycle days. You should see it right in the front portion. Yeah, so I might sound chipper, but you guys, I am now feeling really sore. They told me that I would feel some cramping, and it's actually not sore. It's just like discomfort. I can't say pain. It's like a cramp, but although it's not in my pelvis area, it's like in my upper stomach, like right around here, and I just want this to subside. I want it to go away. I ended up taking you. another Advil, and... Um, you know, that dye, it has to fall back out. So it could be still in the process of releasing itself. They asked me to put on a sanitary napkin. And what I did was when we finished at 9.49, I um, went straight to work. I started work at 11.40 and I worked the entire day. So I'm feeling like crap right now. So as far as the synopsis, it basically says I have a normal um, uterine cavity with normal fallopian tubes and free peritoneal spillage bilaterally. Now, in layman's terms, that basically means that all of the dye contrast right. just seeped out, out seamlessly out of both of my fallopian tubes. So, we are on our way. I am still going to vlog every single step of the way there may be a gap in between this video and the next video because we are on cycle day seven i've stopped my blood flow and i am going to be waiting for next month's ovulation date to inseminate so outside of a checkup with the doctor and she's already received the uh the synopsis i really don't have anything to do but wait until it's time to ovulate and also Hope Cryobank gives us our donor because we've been yeah, searching we and we just really want to find the perfect ideal donor. Yeah, so that's yeah. all I have to say. Is there anything you want to say to any other? Um, and you don't have to be gay. You can be straight. Yeah, any other families out there that matter. are trying to conceive because Taisha gives me 100% support. Mm -hmm. And without her support, I don't know what I would be doing right now. So okay. it's, it's just really important to have a support system. And this is mine. Mm -hmm. We're going to leave with a kiss. I yeah. always put my lip gloss all over her. And it's sticky. Mm. That's a sticky one. Yeah, that's a sticky one. Sorry, babe. It's the I like cheap the shit. Ones. I know. I had to do this because I'm tired and I'm out of it. And I have to keep it real on this video. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, for the people like who um, maybe self-pay like we are. Okay. You can let them know how much it costs. Right, so we are self-pay patients. Um, I didn't involve myself with Obamacare when it came out because I just felt like I don't see the reason I'm paying all this money a month if I'm going to utilize the the um, insurance like once a year for a pap smear or maybe a dental checkup. So I had no insurance, but now that we're going to do the baby making process, we're self-pay right now until we inseminate yeah, and have a successful... Yeah, we uh, pregnancy we're gonna have to pick up insurance so as yes. far as this procedure 
And once again, it's called the HSG. It also yes. includes a um, pregnancy test. Yes, a pregnancy test. And I had the receipt. It was in my wallet. And the total amount of this procedure is six hundred dollars. Yeah. However, since we had a referral from my um, fertility doctor, we got a small discount. But again, mm -hmm. it is a lot of money if you don't have insurance. Yeah, so I it mean, is. I budgeted about twenty five hundred coming into this blindsided, um, not knowing, just thinking, just IUI twenty five hundred. And quite frankly, we haven't even gotten to the first cycle insemination, and we're well about seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars in from blood work, yep. sonograms, you know. So we're so, prepared for it. We're prepared, we're prepared. So you definitely want to save if you want to yeah. start a family. You want to be on the up and up anyway. Yes. Yeah, so you guys know, prepare for it ahead of time. You know, that makes yeah. it easier. So I'm gonna have my wife massage my back and just okay. try to like get out of this like awkward space right now because I'm totally not myself and um yeah I will chat with you all on the next video yeah definitely later y'all bye